Hello there and welcome and once again to Red Gaming Tech. I have yet more daily gaming news for you today here on the 23rd of July. Today I have some news for you concerning Dead Rising 3. And as most of you probably know, it doesn't actually follow the time sensitive system that was pretty much the core mechanic of the first two games, which of course demanded you to be in certain places at set times and you might miss certain missions and so forth if you weren't quick enough. However, Capcom Vancouver has revealed that you can turn on schedules in Nightmare Mode and this was revealed when speaking with Oz Gamers and this was from the mouth of Dead Rising 3 producer Josh Bridge and he had this to say. We purposely built a non-time restrictive mode and a completely time restrictive mode. Both follow the same storyline. So if you want to, it will completely hand your ass to you with Nightmare Mode where the time limit is going to be pushing you along at a schedule. You're going to have to meet and finish the missions at a certain time, or you're going to miss them. You're going to miss the optional content, you're going to run out of time. A bomb is likely going to nuke the whole area. You can only save on washrooms, and it just keeps that classic pressure. But if you want to have the freedom to explore, we have a bigger world that's even, that has even more stuff to do in it than any other Dead Rising. And if you want that, and to take it all at your own leisure, then that's there for you. You can even hop between modes if you want. And it all goes to one profile and saves all of your experience points. Now this is pretty damn awesome news for those of you who actually enjoyed the time sensitive missions of the original Dead Rising games and of course the confirmation of XP sharing across both modes on one profile means that if you want to try your hand at nightmare mode you will not have to start from scratch and then as by the same token if you decide that hey nightmare mode isn't for you you can just hop back onto the normal mode. Personally, uh, this pleases me greatly. The time-sensitive missions, uh, they were a bit too restrictive for me in the original game, but Dead Rising 2 did loosen them a little bit. And while they were kind of frustrating in a lot of ways, it added a lot of pressure to the game and a lot of tension. Like, what would happen in a real-world situation? Certain things will be happening at certain times, and if you miss it, well, it sucks to be you. you. You can't just... The NPC is going to be standing there all day. Things are happening in quote unquote real time. And that added a real sense of tension and reality to the game. So while they added a lot of frustration and it, it did restrict play by quite a significant amount. Um, I personally think it had some good points and some bad points. So I think that having the choice is definitely a good thing. Personally, I'm probably not going to be picking up Dead Rising 3 because it doesn't really look like Dead Rising to me. But if I were, I probably would sort of switch between the two. Certain moods, I might just want to sort of run around the open world doing stuff just for lols. And other times I might want to actually, you know, be more have that tension and have that feeling of oh my god I need to hurry I need to be here at that time because that was a really interesting mechanic I thought and while it could have used some fine tuning it was definitely an idea with some promise so I'm definitely pleased by the fact that it is an optional mode in the new game. Hopefully as well there'll be some improvements to the AI of the survivors um, as they ha have also been confirmed that you will be meeting them in the game and you'll have to rescue them but players can also give them perks and issue commands so hopefully they'll be a bit better than the ones in the first two games because they were a bit lacking to say the least. Anyway, that is me done for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, do hit me up with your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you think you'll be playing on the normal mode or nightmare mode? And what did you think of the original time-sensitive missions of the original Dead Rising 1 and 2? Anyway, as I said, that's me done. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.